Hey guys, Punky here with the last Turian male face you're gonna see. This is the Turian soldier, the ultimate weapons platform. Uh, a fantastic character. If you can get over the whole lack of maneuverability and just gun like a champion, you're gonna be fine on the battlefield. I'm gonna show you a really nice build that works. What's, all, what's fantastic about this guy is because he's got marksman and then he's got the Turian passives in stability. This basically means you can work every gun in the game on this guy and make it better than anybody else can. Okay, let's jump into Marksman and have a look at that. Now, what I'm going to recommend for your first evolution is go for the rate of fire. Now, incre increasing the rate of fire increases your damage per second. Damage per second is really key in this game, to be honest, guys. If you really want to be the most efficient guy out there, you want damage per second. So, rate of fire every single time. I mean, accuracy is Great, especially if you're dealing with a particularly inaccurate gun like, um, I don't know, certain shotguns and stuff like that, and assault rifles with a ton of kick. Accuracy is pretty helpful for that, but I think you're always going to benefit, benefit more with the fire rate. For the next evolution, uh, headshots is all good, you can go with headshots, but I'm going to just recommend duration, because basically you want marksmen on all the time. There's just <laughs> When you're not out of marksmen, you're like working at half efficiency, so yeah, if you can get that duration up to 10.20 seconds, yeah, you're going to be good. And for the fire rate, more ac you get accuracy and more fire rate, okay, that's just great. Now we've got the accuracy boost and now we've got even more of a fire rate bonus, it's 50% now. And we've still got a 45 accuracy bonus, so it's all good stuff there. You don't need recharge speed, because um, Marksman has got a fairly lengthy recharge, it's, uh, it's 3 seconds, uh, well it's over 3 seconds, but it's... It's going to be enough, trust me, guys. You're going to be. You really want that uh, accuracy and fire rate for your six evolution, okay? You're really missing out if you don't take it. Now, I'm not taking concussive shot. Uh, you can go ahead and take concussive shot. It's a perfectly viable move. Great for helping you deal with phantoms and stuff like that. Because when enemies get up in your face, you've got little options uh, than to just try and outgun them, or in the phantom say, gun her down before she stabs you. Uh, concussion shot is always going to knock her back, save your ass. The problem is, Marksman has no synergy with any other power, so when you've got Marksman on, you cannot use concussive shot, and as I've mentioned just seconds ago, you want Marksman on all the time, so we're going to have it on all the time, you're not going to be able to t really take advantage of concussive shot unless you sort of went for the uh, headshot evolution and stuff, which you can do if you really wanted to build concussive shot, I don't know, you probably would want... Um Probably won't want Radius. Uh, you could go with Force and Damage, but Radius could work for you. Um, let's have a look. You go for the Recharge Speed, so you can just spam that thing like crazy. So it's literally going to save your ass whenever you need it to. And then for the final evolution... Um, I don't know, I think I've heard that the Shredder... Uh, evolution is kind of bugged. I don't know. This might be uh, complete and utter bullshit, but that looks good. Increase damage to organics by 200% over 10 seconds. Increase the force by 50, which is always nice. It's all about knocking them back with concussion shot, essentially, isn't it? Um, although, hammer, increase the damage by 50% and the radius by 1 meter, equally useful. So you can go either way. Um, I'd probably pick Shredder, to be honest, okay? Uh, but I am going to spec into Proximity Mine, actually, because um, in the few chances where I won't be in Marksman, I'll be taking on a big boss target. This is going to allow me to debuff him and then just plow my uh, just plow into him, essentially. So uh, Proximity Mine's pretty much the same thing you see me rock with the Infiltrators, but with a slight difference. Okay, You still want Radius, so we can just throw it at the enemy. You want damage taken, that's the whole point in taking Proximity Mine. But for the final evolution, you want Recharge Speed. Because look, uh, Proximity Mine's recharge speed is actually 4.35 seconds okay that's quite lengthy it does put you out of action for a while um, the reason it's not an issue with infiltrators is because you shoot your proximity mine in tactical cloak so then you come out a tactical cloak and you've only got to worry about tactical cloaks recharge speed with this guy we haven't got that with firing proximity mine we got proximity times recharge speed so knock it down a bit you can knock it by 45 uh, or 40 sorry percent if you take that evolution now this is where it gets good guys, this is the Turian Veteran, it's all about uh, weapon damage and stability, don't waste your time with power damage, because the only powers we got is concussive shot and proximity mine, and they're about debuffing and knocking back, it's not about 
killing with those powers, alright? So you want damage and stability, you want headshots, and then you want damage and stability. Now we've got a 37.5% weapon damage bonus and a 55% stability bonus, okay? Fantastic stuff. That just lets you work every gun in the game. Uh, fitness or health and shields though, come on guys, durability, f shield recharge, fitness expert, we got some decent shields there, that's 1425 and, uh, you know, alright health, 950, okay, they're not the, the tankiest guys on the field, but literally the, the Turian's um, niche is the stability, to be honest, I mean, the weapon damage, it got a great weapon damage bonus, but it's the stability, you don't get that with anybody else, apart from, of course, the new Juggernaut now. For weapons, I'm going to... Well, what I do with this character, I'm not just showing off for this video, this is how I play him. Because this guy can work every gun, you can take the shittest guns in the game and make them incredible on this guy. And, for instance, I, this is what I'm going to be rocking. The... <laughs> Alright, because uh, this thing's just... It hits pretty hard, but the problem with it, its rate of fire is kind of lousy and it's got a ton of kick. With marksmen, that's just not going to be an issue, okay? So in fact, we're just going to be shooting this thing like a poor man's harrier. It's going to be fantastic. And look, I'm in the Eagle 10 Club. Woo woo. I got that back when commendation weapons were still commendation weapons. So, yeah, this, uh, this put that to use. I'm also going to be taking into the game a an ADAS anti-synthetic rifle. Okay, going to show off this new uh, reckoning weapon here because it wrecks phantoms. Okay, with this guy we're going to want a phantom killer gun, and that's what I mean by that is a gun that staggers consistently. Um, I'll get more into other weapons and stuff that will work for both of these uh, in the gameplay. Okay, I don't want to lull too long in this whole build section here, but the ADAS insect. <laughs> The ADAS, or ADAS, I don't know how it's pronounced, anti-synthetic rifle is amazing at Sacred Phantoms. The only big uh, problem with, I have with this one, I mean the damage ain't great, uh, but it just staggers all the time. The rate of fire though is really kind of crap. Uh, if you put it on a character with a rate of fire increase, I'm talking the guys with Marksman, the Geth with Hunter mode, and even Devastator mode, if you went for the uh, sort of rate of fire increase evolutions in that, then you're going to be able to work this thing like a like a boss, to be honest, is a really good gun for killing phantoms, and we're going to need that because when they get up too close, or even they can just get close because they can just weave them uh, uh, through all our shots and stuff like that, this is just going to keep them away from us and just wreck them. Now, for equipment, I'm going to recommend you just hit hard guys, take uh, armor piercing rounds, okay? That's what I'm going to be rocking and take armor piercing rounds for. I'm not going to have. Um, a piercing mod on my eagle, okay, I'm going with the mag obscene upgrade and the heavy barrel because uh, when you're using marksman you're going to burn through your uh, clips real, real quick, okay, so you want the magazine upgrades on all your weapons when you're rocking a marksman character, so to get the piercing you need to get it now, that's why I'm going to recommend that ammo. Armor bonus. Take, take, take a, I'm going to be rocking a Psychonic Modulator 4, okay? Uh, like I said, we're not particularly tanky, but with a 150% you know, shield bonus increase to that over 1,000 shields, we're going to be pretty nice out there, okay? We're going to be pretty strong. We're going to be able to take quite a bit of damage. Um, for the gear, I'm going to be rocking the Combatives. What is it? <laughs> yeah, the Combatives upgrade, okay? That's an assault rifle and pistol rifle damage increase by 12% and that's what I'm rocking in it guys so that's going to be perfect for me and obviously the eagle is going to be my main gun okay that's what I'm going to be rolling with for the most part I'm gonna, so I'm just going to take a, a pistol rail amp 3 I've only got ones to show you now but I did have three for the gameplay and uh, that makes us ready to go let's go to the gameplay All right, here we are. I'm with my buddies uh, Dominoise and Lito for this game, and Damage is one of Dom's buddies actually. So it's a party of friends. <clears throat> Although we are probably going to lose. Well, I say probably we do lose damage actually about halfway through the game. So uh, it's going to be a three-man operation in the end, which is a shame because he just completely went offline. Don't know what happened to the guy. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a really good game, actually. Oh, I'm doing Condor now. That officially marks every map played uh, in my video guide series. I think a couple of videos ago I said um, I was about done and I was tripping, actually. I completely forgot about a couple of maps, Condor being one of them. Although you can forgive me because uh, I would never pick Condor normally. Uh, that's something you just kind of get lumped with. It's a buggy-ass map. Uh, <laughs> it really is. I'll get into that in the gameplay. 
Arsenal, which is starting now. And it, even though it's unknown enemy, we scored a Cerberus gameplay, so win-win. So I'm switching straight to my eagle. This is going to be my bread and butter. It's going to be marksman and eagle. It's going to kill all things. Uh, the Turian soldier is really it's just a, a weapons platform. He really is a soldier at heart. And, we're gonna, and it's not going to be long now. I'm just going to spot a spawn down here. And this guy's going to be gone in a second. Boom. Marksman with... And that's just the fire rate, guys. Just aim for the head and just wreck them. Absolutely destroy enemies with it. But you are going to... You know... Uh, going for your clips with marksman is a real issue. Uh, it's something you're going to have to, um, you know, be be ready for because you just do. You you can't fire that fast and not burn through your clip. You it's just you know something's got to give. Um, let's t let's talk about guns though and stuff that really works with marksman because there's uh, there's a ton of options. Like I said, he just makes all guns better essentially but there's uh, you know there's a lot of guns that would just you know you f they're forgettable once you get up to the higher difficulties and he can bring them back and uh, you know he's like the one of the few characters that can really do it i mean there is the quarian marksman now uh, second and only other guy with marksman but he doesn't have the turian stability and that's a real game changer it really is um as you can see, I'm rocking the eagle here, and it uh, it wrecks. <laughs> it does a ton of damage. You can um, also go with something like the piranha. I mean, and re just really chew through armor because you know you saw the Geth infiltrator video, right, guys? Because <laughs> if you haven't, you need to. Uh, that that was the, the the Geth was so incredible with that gun. You know, mainly there was the damage bonuses, of course, but the rate of fire was very uh, was almost fundamental in that. Increasing the piranha's rate of fire was great, and marksman's going to let you do that. You're also going to get the accuracy increase as well, so the, you know, the typical shotgun spread is going to be like minimalized. Um, just going to do incredible damage with it. Um, any SMG works on with Marksman guys, just literally any SMG. Uh, especially on this guy with all the stability as well, because that's what a lot of the SMGs suffer with. A lot of kick. Um, you know, just forget it with this guy. Uh, so, But the ones in particular, I mean the Hurricane, arguably the best gun on this guy. Yeah, so the Hurricane's going to be incredible on him. The Tempest, you're going to chew through armor with that bad boy. The Locust, okay, headshot master. Uh, you're just really going to absolutely just you know, shoot heads all day and uh, just destroy things like the Collectors, okay. Um, what else is there? Oh, the Geth SMG, guys. Uh, surprisingly awesome, actually. Stick armor-piercing rounds on it because they do work on the Geth SMG. Armor-piercing rounds is not a projectile gun, Um so yeah, you can go ahead and do that because uh, you know you because you're you're firing fast at the beginning and then it revs up and you just become like a turret. It's it's really it's quite cool actually. I was my I was using that for a while. It was as my uh, poor man's typhoon actually before I got my hands on the typhoon. And uh, yeah, the typhoon's awesome, but I'll get to that in a second. Don't use the collector SMG, guys. I mean. The gun's biggest drawback is its tiny clip, so you know if you're going through that clip almost three times as fast, you're going to run into a lot of issues. Okay, I mean you'd have to really capitalize on every single headshot to make that worthwhile. Uh, so I'm not going to recommend it. Um, for the assault rifles, though, there's just obviously with the stability and the and the fire rate, the revenant's going to be incredible on this guy. Uh, you because you know because the Revan's got a lot of kick, but it does do a lot of armor damage just because of the DPS and ma massive magazine clip on it. So that's going to be really well. That's going to just synergize really well with Marksman. So you can go ahead and rock that. I mean the Harrier, yes, uh, you're going to do a ton of damage. But again, that's a, a gun with a very very small clip. So you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be hugging the uh, ammo box with that gun. But you're still just going to kill stuff so incredibly fast. But yeah, the Typhoon guys. The, the Turian soldier is arguably the best character in the game with the Typhoon because that guy can snipe with it. I mean, <laughs> the, you know, it's got such a big clip that the rate of fire is not an issue. It revs up really fast, so there's not an issue there either. And then, you know, the stability on it just means you can run around and snipe with the thing. You just do incredible damage. Um, the only issue, really, is that the Typhoon's so heavy that you're not going to be able to do marksman too often. But then, you know, the, with the massive clip, you, you don't need to do it as often. Yeah, so yeah, Typhoon's gonna be amazing on him. And uh, in the same respect, you can probably use the Spitfire. You know, it's just like a, it's a gimpy, it's a gimpy Typhoon in it, the Spitfire. So you can go ahead and do that. So I can't see that failing you. Um, but you know, you can obviously use the new Lancer as well. Uh, there might be some issues with the clip there, but you know, the Lancer's 
pretty reliable and actually it's pretty easy to manage and uh, it's going to kind of work for you like the Harrier I imagine there. We just gonna have to keep an eye on your ammo box. This is a very elusive uh, Centurion. He was rolling around like a champion. I almost felt like letting him live, but of course that's never gonna happen. <laughs> uh, don't use the particle rifle, though, guys. Just don't use the particle rifle, because uh, like because the gu guns that with a with a big rev up. Um, they're not going to be good for you guys because the the you, with the when you increase the rate of fire you do not increase the rate in which the gun revs up. That's going to be the same. So unfortunately, you're going to burn through like half of the clip before it's actually at full power. So that actually makes it a lot less efficient. Uh, here's a Phantom. So I'm going to switch to the Adders for the first time and Wrecker. Uh, I'll get more on that in a second, guys. Um, but no, see, uh, where was I? Yeah, the particle rifle. You're gonna you're basically half your clip's gonna be gone before you're fi you're firing at full power, and then it, it's a shitty experience. It's not it's not good for you. And in the same respect, you probably wouldn't want to rock the striker. Maybe at a push because the striker doesn't have that long a, a ramp up, and um, you know it does a lot of staggering and stuff like that. But I, I'm gonna I would recommend you don't go with something like that. And, you know, there are, there is a sniper rifle you can use, like the Indra is incredible with marksmen. And, you know, that would, you wouldn't have to worry about, um, you know, you move the little maneuverability issues then, because you don't have to get so close, it's a sniper rifle. Um, right, let me, let's, let's move on to, like, those uh, phantom killing guns. You just saw me wreck that phantom with the uh, Addis, and you're going to see me do it a lot more in this gameplay. There's a, there's a ton of games you can do that with. And uh, the Addis is just really good for it, really, because it just literally every shot staggers with it. Um, that's why I like about it. It's a, it's a bit heavy, but it's uh, it's not heavy enough that it's impeding uh, this eagle action. So uh, yeah, go, go ahead and rock the Addis and City Think rifle on here. Like I said before, any guy who can improve the rate of fire on it is going to be good with it. Uh, if you want like a elemental ammo, you can just set up a ton of explosions. But with this guy, you're not really going to be able to detonate that efficiently. So. I'm not going to recommend elemental ammo on him, even if you are using the Addis. But, uh, you know, this brings back the Striker. Okay, we can use the Striker for phantom killing, okay, because it does just immobilize him. And um, because we're not going to be relying on it for, uh, as our main source of killing, the whole losing a clip to the ramp-up speed is not going to be an issue because it's not about uh, wrecking, it's about staggering. Uh, you can even rock another sniper rifle that you can go role play and uh, use the Chrysy. Um <laughs> Yeah, um, it's, it's nice to still find a spot for it because uh, Bioware did uh, kill it. Um, but you know, with increase because now it's real. One of his real big issues now is like it's really crap rate of fire. So you know that uh, he can save it, and that's going to be great for just staggering. Because it was a great phantom killer in the day; it still is, uh, but now it it's, it can still be excellent. Now, uh, the Geth plasma shotgun, guys, is uh, it's just an incredible gun. It staggers with every shot. That's going to wreck phantoms. You can see me whipping up my Addis again. Just, to, just she can't do it. Look, she can't do anything, guys. She's fucked. <laughs> the moment I start open that clip onto her, she cannot do anything. And this is what all these guns I'm recommending to you are going to do, alright? So, um, yeah, the Geth Plasma Shotgun, don't, you don't need to charge it, guys. Just literally fire from the hip. The rate of fire is just going to wreck her. Just great damage, that. Um, it's just great on everybody, but, uh, you know, this is what, you've got to analyze the situation here. This is uh, ugly. I had the, well, actually, this is not it. Or is it? Yeah, see, the, this another phantom's coming in. So I'm going to back off, get myself some nice clearance, and then I'm just going to stop her. There's nothing she can do there. Um, the growl could work to the same effect, but not as effective, if you know what I mean. Because it does stagger with every shot, but it's a bit slower uh, in firing. But of course, we've got marksmen, so that's going to make it all good. It's also less accurate uh, than the Geth. The Geth plasma shotgun seems like home in on enemies, which is just incredible. So, uh, yeah, that's another great reason for it. And um, the Scorpion, guys. The Scorpion just... The Phantoms hate Scorpions. Go ahead and use that. And with the increased rate of fire, you can just <laughs> ruin a day. Uh, that's going to cover the... Uh, that covers the weapons and stuff, though, guys. And now we're going to be jumping into the next wave. What you might have spotted while I was uh, you know, talking about the weapons and stuff here is uh, how I was taking on uh, the Atlases and stuff like that. I do, just because uh, normally they're so big and clunky, they're taking a quite a bit of damage. Uh, I can normally find a space in between marksmen to just hit them with a proximity mine, weaken them, and then drill them. And, you know, that's it. It's just one proximity mine, and then it's back to Marksman, and now we have lost damage. He's uh, he's not going to be coming back, unfortunately. I'm going to start nuking some spawns. I'm going to give you a little shout-out for this. Um, see, where we start now, this is where the enemy spawn a lot here, so I, I think I go here every time in this gameplay. Um, 
LZ is another one they'll rock, they'll complete rock LZ, and that crane or the digging site, whatever it is that I'm looking down at now, that's another big spawn point there. Um, back over at LZ though, that little like platform up there, that's another major spawn point for them, and they'll spawn up on the cliff uh, right at the top, um, just at the back there, they'll go there too. And um, if you can remember when I uh, wrecked that first phantom where I was standing with that ammo boxes, just... Um, to the right of the dig site here, um, that's another big spawn point for them as well. So you know, just make sure find out where your team main mates are standing and go to where nobody is, and that's probably where you're going to find the enemy in those uh, spots and locales. I just giving you that's Condor guys. It's a buggy ass map though. The mainly the ammo boxes. They're just they they just really don't give up. They give out ammo like a platinum game. It's really annoying. So on platinum, it's a nightmare. And um, there's just all because of the uneven ground. I think it just sort of really bugs up some powers and stuff. Like vanguards just fail to charge. Heavy melees just go out of sync. See, there was an atlas just hit with a proximity miner. Now we're just going to drill him. I'm going to save uh, Lito actually because uh, he would have been sink killed. <laughs> I'm gonna, you'll watch me save his ass a couple of times. There's going to be phantoms on his asses, but I'm going to make immobilize them so he's not going to get stabbed in the butt. <laughs> Now there's a bunch of equipment you can uh, other equipment you can use that I didn't mention. Uh, like I told you, use your arm. I'm using armor piercing. You can go ahead and use drill if you haven't got any of that going for you. Um, warp as well. It's all about hitting hard with this guy. You know, weapons platform. It's not about setting up explosions and stuff. I mean, if you really wanted to go with elemental ammo, you'd probably go with incendiary for a bit of dot. But no, you want to hit hard, guys. Go for armor piercing, drill, warp ammo. Um, I'm rocking the Cyclonic, as you can see, it's helped me survive a lot. I have not died yet. Um, you can you, you can one survivability really, so you know you can go with the Cyclonic. I'm going to nuke them. There's a lot of stuff in front of me there. Uh, you want uh, shield power cells would be useful, especially if you're rocking stuff. There's a bit that you'll get uh, back further, something like the Indra and stuff like that. You get your shields back. Nice adrenaline is always good for characters who don't have any sort of dodge roll or evasive maneuvers. Uh, so you know you can just sort of run out of trouble, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much for your armor bonuses. Although, like I said before, um, you've got some incredible stability with him, which makes him awesome with the Typhoon. You put a stability module on him, a uh, stabilization module, rather. Uh, yeah, you can just snipe across Rio with the Typhoon with this guy. It's uh, incredible. Um, for your gears, like I said, I'm rocking the combatants upgrade because I'm rocking a pistol and assault rifle, so it's perfect for me. But you can go ahead and use, um, you know, you can think like the assault loadout. Uh, that's really good if you're rocking something like a Harrier because the assault rifle, uh, that gives you uh, weapons damage and gives you extra thermal clips. So, you know, that's really going to be helpful for you. Um, you can also just go ahead and use the thermal clip storage in that situation. See, that's the other spawn I was telling you about earlier. I do end up nuking that one. There you go. Barrage upgrade, another great one. I mean, that's uh, that's extra stability and a thermal clip. So if you're using a gun with a big kick, uh, you know, you could, that's just going to work out great for you. Um, densified ammunition that basically buffs all guns in the game by something like 10% if I remember correctly. So you know, awesome upgrade for him because he works every gun in the game. Uh, expert package would be great if you're going with the SMGs, especially because that's going to, you know, the trouble with uh, proximity miners, it, it kind of leaves you out of marksman for like five seconds. So, you know, you, if you've got that, it's going to be shorter. Good stuff there. Um, you, and if, if you were rocking something like the Locust, you can go ahead and use like vulnerability VI and just wreck face in a very literal sense, okay? Because uh, that's all headshot damage there. Geth Scanner could be useful on this guy, guys. Um, obviously, because the Phantoms can just sort of be around the corner, swoop in and just wreck you. So, you know, if you can see him behind the wall, you can go to the right gun and that's not going to be an issue. But essentially, guys, any kind of weapon amp or weapon amps is going to be fine. If you're still a bit flaky about survival and stuff without the maneuverability, you can use your shield stuff. Those you've got shield boosters, stronghold packages, and survivor loadout. All that kind of good stuff. I'm not sure if that was wave 10. Let me have a look. No, this is wave 10 now, okay. Because uh, there is something I want to let you know about, okay? Um... This is a bit of, I'm doing a bit of an experiment with you guys. I hope you guys can comment and let me know. Uh, I'm trying some, I'm trying to get more structure in my videos. And I'm going to take two different approaches. I'm going to take an approach, this is my first approach and in the next video it's the Geth Engineer, which is already rendered and ready to upload guys. Uh, that's going to be up, hopefully I can get that up on the same night. Uh, that's going to be in a slightly different structure. 
Uh, and let me explain that to you. Uh, basically, uh, you might have noticed that I didn't uh, show you all the different guns and all the different gears and stuff in the build section of the video. I basically told you exactly what I'm using, jumped into it, and now I've explained it all to you during the gameplay. Um, in the Geth Engineer video, what I've done is I've gone very in depth. Here, I'm going to see if Lighto's out. See, she can't kill him because <laughs> I got the adders on it. In the Geth Engineer video, guys, I'm going to uh, be very in depth in the build section. I'm going to tell you um, more than one way to build the engineer. I'm going to tell you the best weapons of the engineer, all the different equipment. It's all literally everything you need to know to get started is going to be in the first 15 minutes of the build section of the video, and then we're going to go into the gameplay. Um, See now, what I worries me is that with the Geth Engineer video, it's very long. Um, I like to go up top here to hold, but you can also go to where you start the game. Just sorry, I'm breaking off here. You can go back where you start and finally die on extraction. Typical. It's not even going to be my. F oh, I'm going to die twice or thrice in this extraction actually because um, we've lost damage and there's a lot of phantoms actually, so it's going to cause me some grief. But no, sorry, the, the Geth Engineer video is really quite long. It's like 45 minutes, guys. Uh, just because, And the problem is it, it kind of left me with like nothing to say in the gameplay. There's a lot of like dead air time in that video, unfortunately, just because there's nothing left for me to say because I was went in so much depth in the beginning. But what I, mean, what I like about that is the fact that you guys... If you ever needed to come back and use this video as a reference source or... So, See, there's the other one, Swarm by Dragoons there. If you ever need to come back to that video and use it as a reference, you wouldn't need to filter through the gameplay and just hear me out to uh, find the pockets of information you're after. You would know. You can just watch the beginning and you can get everything you need to know about the character and then you can just check out the gameplay then for the action and all that kind of good stuff. But unfortunately, that makes it really, really long. Uh, now, the positives and negatives of this uh, style that I'm doing with the Turin Soldier is the fact that obviously it's just a damn sight quicker. So, you know, you can just sit through the whole video. Uh, it's going to be quite leisurely. It's not a big task. You know, everything's here and I'm, I'm, I'm able to fill the entire length of the video with useful information. Um, but like I said, um, that means that you're going to have to sieve through the entire video then to kind of get all the information out of it, which could be an issue. I don't know. Please comment and let me know, guys. But the, the you know the big plus about that is obviously it. Not only does it fill the whole video with information, but it, it makes it shorter, so that makes it uh, quicker to render, you know, quicker to upload, and I can get them out quicker. So you know, that's, there's there's a lot of pros. I want to want you guys to let me know what's going to be better for you guys because um, you know, at the end of the day I do it for you guys and if you aren't getting anything out of the videos there really is no point in me doing them. Okay so please comment and let me know. Um, literally I'm going to try and get them out tonight so this is the Turi and this is going to be like the fast short video and then there's going to be the Geth Engineer which is really kind of lengthy. Um, you know but it, it's, uh, it's two different ways to approach the, how I'm going to structure these videos and I can Whatever you guys are happier with, let me know, and that's how the rest of the series is going to continue, okay? But uh, that was that was extraction, guys. I think we got a really nice time, considering we finished off with just three men. Um, and that's Condor, too. So, from now on, it will be unknown, unknown, the way I like it. I'm going to leave you guys with the scores. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I really love the support, guys. I really do. But uh, take care of yourself, guys, and I'll check you out in the next video.